back. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the 2022, 2022 Iditarod. Iditarod dog sled race. The race has begun. <laughs> Let's watch it. All right, they are coming just left and right. They're coming real snappy this year. I don't even know how many teams have come through. Uh, it is really fun to be out here and we got really lucky. It is a spectacular day. We haven't had no sun like this last month. Had to let those machiners go by, but the dogs are, they're coming at two minute intervals. That's how often they let them out. I think there was 49 teams this year, but sometimes things change the last minute. So I don't really actually know how many are getting released. And we are on a frozen lake right now watching this race. Earlier this morning, we were at the staging area in Willow on Willow Lake, and that's where they actually start the time of these teams, and that's called the restart. So we're about a mile from there, and we can actually hear the announcer from here. So it's pretty cool. We can tell when the teams are coming. The staging is my favorite part to watch of the race. It is so much fun to see those dogs get unloaded and set up. They are pumped for this race. They love this. To get to witness it firsthand is one of the most incredible things, honestly, I've experienced in Alaska. So we're having a blast out here. We brought food, but things are just too fast paced. We're probably not gonna be cooking our food for a little while. There's some really colorful teams out here and we picked a great spot. We're a little bit away from the parties and we're on this little bend. So we get to see them come around that corner. My favorite racer has already went by, Jesse Holmes. He was number seven this year. Most of the racers are actually from Alaska, but there are a few from around the world. Here comes another team. They're coming by super quick and I can hear them barking. Jeff King is a pretty famous Iditarod racer and he actually filled in for someone that couldn't race this year. I believe he was one of the first two teams to go, so he's already gone by. But a cool fact, our snow machine, our 2003 Ski-Doo Scandic, used to belong to Jeff King. I'm a little like all over the place. <laughs>
That was the last team and it is a warm day for these dogs out here. I don't know if you caught it, but they are, they will stop and like eat snow or grab snow as they're running. They're very acclimated to Alaska's temperature and in the thirties is very warm for them, especially for this long journey. So we wish them luck and hopefully they all do very well on the long, long race. Well, the race was awesome. It, this is probably one of my favorite things to do in Alaska and it's we've come four years. So every year we've been here, we've come to this race and everyone's packing up, everyone's leaving, but we still got to cook some food because we got a long ride home. So we got a little campfire going. Last year when we watched this race we were out on the river and last year was a little bit different. They actually took off and they did a loop and they came back. So we got to see them take off which was awesome and then when we were heading out to our cabin we passed a couple teams that were on their way back. So we got to see them twice last year. The cheesy garlic bread is done. This is going to cool and we're going to get started on dessert. We're having banana boats. It was a really bumpy trail on the way here. Actually, Ariel was riding our Scandic, and at some point, one of the springs, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like a tension spring that holds up the suspension. There's one on each side. One of them snapped. So the track's starting to rub on the tunnel when I hit big bumps, and we're sagging a little bit. So hopefully we make it home, but the banana, it really suffered some damage on that bumpy ride. See if uh, we can make these work. Everything's going in here, pecans, coconut shreds, brown sugar, frozen blueberries. We got honey and cinnamon. And then these are gonna go on the coals for probably like 10 minutes. They shouldn't take long. Just having a blast out here and we're super hungry. Let's see what this bread looks like. Yum. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> this is stuffed garlic bread, garlic scapes and garlic and a little bit of cheese. These things are done. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Those look so good. One more ingredient. A little whipped cream on there. Oh my gosh. That is good. Another awesome year out here and I cannot complain about those banana boats. Those were <laughs> quite wonderful and a nice snack to get home. This is our fourth year coming out here like Eric said and it's 
really always so much fun. Last year was definitely probably my favorite, but this year was fun to be able to see the dog staging again. It's really an experience I can't really put into words to get to live where many of these mushers live with their dogs and see them and see how much they care for their animals. And then they're out here, you know, just in the Alaskan wilderness, not exactly right where we're at right now, but they're, that's where they're going. And to see their dogs with them, the relationship, it's really, really cool. It's like my favorite thing. And I know that this race is very historical. It's very much Alaskan culture. It's just been like a real honor to get to come to it and, and see it. We're definitely on our way out, but I know Eric just reminded me that we have some coffee. Okay, little Tim Hortons. Ah, still warm. This will get us home. We'll see you guys next time. I got three words. Skidoo for life. This is so much fun. It's like the best day ever. <laughs>